Hi there, it's Maria from the Tarot Shop here and we're going to take a little look at this brand new deck in the marketplace. It's the Trinity Tarot by Ari Wisner and as you seek guidance from the universe, never forget that divinity dwells in your hands too. Divinity expands outward and inhabits all of nature, making you a unique expression of itself. Like a hand or a branch or a tree, you're part of the Trinity. May you find grace, courage and empowerment within much warmth, Ari. That's lovely. So it's a very cute little box, cute little deck. It has a fold-up guidebook. Tells you a little bit about him. Um, and the cards, just some keywords, which is actually what you need. And then the three cards spread. And then you've got the miners on the back. Very clever. So, and those are, I would call prompts, which is exactly all you need. So they're square, which is novel for me. I'm not particularly well versed with, okay, holding decks that aren't quite traditional. <laughs> but the circular ones, I think I would probably throw them everywhere. I wouldn't be able to keep hold of them. So we've got, he's changed the names of some of them to based on their, you know, genderless quality so it's like a neutral situation lovely little deck there's always so much to be said about the hanged man the hanged one sorry and that's because i always see it as surrender and that's what i've always seen it as you know it is surrender hanging around, waiting, martyrdom to some degree. And actually it looks like he agrees, but some people don't. Temperance, the devil. And then the sword suits. So we've basically got the key symbols coming through. So that's the rider weight scene, isn't it? four of swords but without the character and the six of swords if you remember is in a boat so you have the same clues in the cards this person's sleeping at night you remember the, there's a person sitting in bed that is um anxiety so you've got the apprentice, the champion, the keeper, and the crown. Then you go into the pentacles. Very clever little deck. I say little because it's actually physically little. Oh, let me know what you think in the comments. I think these are really cute. Very clever. It must take so long to come up with these alternative symbols. Okay, two. We've got the cup suit. So despite the fact that they're characterless, they're not, they are illustrated, you know. And then you've got wands. Okay, so they are a really cute little deck. Very dreamy, the fool, isn't it? Okay, and then that piece of paper that comes with it that has all the meanings, and it comes in this little box. Okay, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, thanks very much. Bye-bye.